behind me is our house here in the Philippines. This isn't our first house, especially here in Iloilo City. This is our second one for this city. And our previous house, we were unable to really give a proper budget. It was pretty much impossible because we had so many issues with our previous house. Every time we tried to budget for something, something always went wrong. Well, here at the new house, we can finally give you and give ourselves a proper budget of what we can live on here in the Philippines. Keep in mind, we live in one of the fastest growing, cleanest, safest cities in all of the Philippines. One that has set a goal at every level of government to become one of the most livable cities in all of the Philippines. So of course, the price is gonna be a little higher than you're expecting maybe. If you were thinking of province life or something like that, significantly cheaper to live there. But here you have a high level standard of living, very Western in many cases. And so you're gonna to have to pay a little extra, but hey, it's well worth it. This is the Esplanade that is located all over the city, growing by the day. And it's just right down the street from my house and a great place to go jogging, biking, running. There's different paths all over the place. As you can see, nice modern highway right by our house too, uh, that doesn't get too congested. So it's really, really nice. The first thing I wanna talk about is our electricity bill. At the last house, we were looking at 14,000 pesos a month on average. And when we were not running any air conditioning at all, barely at home, that kind of thing, it was still around 8,000 pesos which, well, is incredible. And thanks to a lot of our subscribers, we realized how bad it really was. We just got our first bill today and it's for our first 30 days. And well, it's, it's pretty damn good. Only 6,140 pesos for the whole month. Keep in mind, this month we have been uh, well, Bianca had her surgery, so she was laying in bed for several days. That air conditioner was running 24-7. Um, well, even before that, we both got a cold and we were sick and we were staying inside and in air conditioning and things like that. So we didn't put up a lot of videos for that week. So all of that is included in this price, running all these air conditioners constantly. And then when we're editing, we got different rooms running air conditioners really really happy so that's only 537 kilowatt hours compared compared to our other house we were 950 to over a thousand kilowatt hours and we barely ran any air we are now on city water we didn't have that before at the other house we just had a well but we still have a pump uh, it just runs from the city water now uh, but the city water we don't even meet the minimum so the minimum charge is 300 pesos per month Transportation, we're actually a little closer now to all of the malls and the action and everything that takes place here in the city. And because we can walk right out to this highway, we can jump on a bus. The bus is about 14 pesos, it's the minimum charge. There's a bus coming right now, actually. Uh, they're air conditioned, they're quite nice. And we have malls on both sides. We got Pavia over there, and then we got SM Iloilo over here, Festive Walk, Mega World whole area. Everything is very close for us. And so our transportation costs are quite low. We still use Grab and taxi when we have to go further distance like Villia. Um, but for the most part, we can budget about 500 pesos per week. So 2000 pesos per month for our transportation and still have some money left over. Our cell phones remain the same. We only pay 500 pesos each per month gets us tons of data. Often we don't use all the 500 pesos. We'll buy a 299 plan and then maybe add a couple of 99s if we need it. But for the most part, never gone over 500 pesos per month per phone. So I'm everything here is based on two people. And so therefore we're looking at a thousand pesos per month for our cell phones for a whole month with ridiculous amount of data. At the last house, we decided to uh, leave the internet the way it was because it was 300 megabytes per second. And so we didn't touch it, it was 1800 pesos a month. But this time when we were setting up this one, we decided, hey, let's go for a little bit even more because we upload huge videos sometimes, 50 gigabytes even, and the faster the better. And so we pay 2,200 pesos a month, which is very, very expensive. It's a high-end plan, but we get 450 megabytes per second, megabits, sorry, 
um, up and down. So the upload is usually really throttled, but no, not for us. And we use Globe if you're interested. That's the one we use. They're in the SM Mall, really easy to set up. For us, 7,400 per month is all we spend on groceries. There is just the two of us. And yes, you can tell by our vlogs, we eat out quite often. Uh, so if you are not going to be eating out as often as we are, you'll have to up that budget, but it won't be as much because if you're adding in the next part, which is the dining out, you will save a ton of money cooking at home, obviously. And that's gonna change a lot actually where you shop. We have a video on SNR to give you an example. If you want Western uh, brands and type of food, well, you're gonna pay a premium price for that. And uh, it's very interesting if you wanna see that video, we do have it and I'll put a link there for you. It's probably over here, I always point on the wrong side. Uh, it's very interesting to see what the prices are comparative to the Western world. Dining out and Grab. So Grab is like Uber. Well, it used to be Uber actually. Uh, Uber got bought out by Grab. Um, so here, everything is Grab. Grab car, Grab groceries, Grab takeout, everything. So we do that quite often, obviously, like I said. Uh, we budget 8,000 pesos per month. We will not go over that. We'll always be careful of that. But last month, actually, because we had so many friends taking us out, they had birthday parties, all these different things, we actually only had to spend 6,310 pesos. But we'll stick to the 8,000 because we know that's not going to always be the case. Immigration is the next one. If you're here like we are, still on a tourist visa, uh, we're doing every two months right now because we're waiting for Bianca's last bit of paperwork so we can finally get this dual citizenship thing going and then I can get a different visa altogether as well and we can start earning income from Philippines companies. So either start a business or uh, get a job, that kind of thing. And the price is 2,830 pesos per person. And so there's two of us, uh, but because this is a, a video here about two people budget, uh, we're just gonna say uh, 2,830 pesos per month, if that makes sense. Instead of doubling it by two and then dividing it by two entertainment well you know this is really really going to depend on the person so for us we spent 5840 pesos uh last month on entertainment as youtube vloggers we try to do as much as possible but we try to do as cheap as possible we try to find like deals and uh or people are like hey come and try this out or something like that and it doesn't cost us great wonderful uh we got to do everything and anything we can in order to stay within our budget uh, but if you are looking at this thinking okay what kind of budget can i expect it really does depend like we didn't know this but apparently there's even a casino here in town you go to the casino say goodbye to that entertainment budget um if you go to they have strip clubs they have three strip clubs i'm pretty sure if you go to the strip clubs you're gonna be in the same situation you're gonna blow your budget through the roof and of course, the rent for our house. I just left that at the end there. I should have put it at the beginning, but it's 28,000 pesos per month. It's a three bedroom. Well, there's a whole tour of it. You can see on our videos, but uh, it's a really nice house for that price. So that's about $500 a month US. Health insurance. We pay 19,000 pesos per year for the two of us uh, for emergency health insurance. So if we get an accident, have a heart attack or anything like that, and it is a zero deductible one. I have a whole episode also uh, on health insurance here in the Philippines uh, where we interview one of the brokers. He's a Canadian that, expat that came over here, married a Filipina and now works here. Um, and uh, so he has great knowledge from both sides, what it was like in Canada, what it was like here, that kind of thing. Very informative. Anyhow, uh, so it doesn't, have, it doesn't take care of like day to day. If you just need to go into the doctors, I mean, you have to pay cash for that. But all emergencies, all the scary stuff where you might need a million pesos or something like that, that's all covered, no deductible. Medications, I am going to leave that to the end because it has nothing to do with making a budget for normal people, the average person. Ours is absolutely crazy and it just happened this month, but we'll put that at the end uh, so that we can like have as a tagline afterwards. Our miscellaneous, so that could be haircuts, it could be clothing, those type of things. I'm lucky my wife loves Ukai Ukai, which is, which is like going to thrift stores in uh, America and Canada. And so she can go there, I can give her a thousand pesos or something, and she'll just go to town. She'll come back with 20 items. Um, I don't buy a lot of stuff, so I'm like most men, I don't have a million of everything. 
and uh, and I'm the only one that seems to get haircuts. She's only had one haircut since she's been in the Philippines. Uh, her hair is nice and long and beautiful. But when she does go, well, it is a lot more money for a female to get a haircut than a man, of course. But uh, we have budgeted uh, 3,000 pesos for that miscellaneous of those couple items there. And that is the budget minus those medications I mentioned. Okay, I'm back home now on my balcony and I'm gonna give you the total. So let's first uh, list all the items right over here. And uh, you can see them all broken out. Now, our total, like I said, before medications, that comes to 68,483 pesos. That works out to $1,260 a month. Very Western living for that amount of money. Just imagine that, like in the Western world or anything, that wouldn't even be your rent, not even close. So uh, now let's let's talk about the last part. The last part is the medication. So uh, my medications, because I have high blood pressure, I've had it for a very long time. And now they're saying, well, you gotta take these other pills for your kidneys and you gotta take these other pills for cholesterol. Um, so it's working out to close to 4,000 pesos per month for my medication. So about, 80 US dollars a month. So not crazy to bad or anything like that, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, not No more uh, socialized healthcare here, you know? Uh, but recently we've run into a much bigger amount. As you might know, uh, here in the Philippines, mental health is not really on anybody's radar. Um, we do have a psychiatrist here and everything for her, but medications are hard to find. There's only usually one pharmacy that'll have one drug and then another pharmacy has another and they have a very strict protocol on any mental health type medications here in the Philippines. Um, yeah, they're in triplicate, yellow, only certain doctors can prescribe it and only certain pharmacies can fill it and that's if they even stock it because there's very few people getting prescribed it. Yeah, so you can imagine that that also means the price is quite high for this stuff. And so for her part there, it's about 10 thousand pesos per month uh, in order to fulfill those medications. So that means our, our total bill for medications a month is about 14,500 pesos per month, which is like renting a small house. Like there's some probably some houses in our subdivisions you could rent for that per month. So it's crazy, but it's the life we live. And I'm sure a lot of Americans will be telling me that they pay 10 times more because uh, medications are always more expensive in the US. Uh, probably true. Uh, so that means adding that in for two people, keep in mind, a lot of people show budgets and they're only talking about one person living by themselves. But for two people, uh, we're looking at 1,527 US dollars per month for two people to live this lifestyle, which is 82,983 pesos. So there you go. Hopefully it helps. It's going to change. And I know people say this all the time. Yeah, but I know from my own experience, when I looked online, I wanted to hear other people's perspectives, see what kind of budgets they have. If I want to see what somebody is paying in the provinces, then I can see that and then look in the city, kind of get an average out of everything. I don't think $1,500 a month though is that far off, especially now post pandemic. Inflation has hit everywhere. So I think it's a pretty good price to be stuck at. Plus, at least it's reliable now, except for the medications but our electricity has come way down, which has managed us to uh, pay for that extra cost in medications. I got a storm cloud coming. We have been going through like a tropical storm depression. I don't know what it is, but uh, if we go sun and then extreme rain, lots of winds, but I better get in there and edit. See you guys again soon. Hopefully you check out our other videos and subscribe. Thank you, bye-bye.